What's up, everyone? Jay here, as always. Marr, we're gonna play uh, Bad Luck Connor again. I think we're on uh, model number three, maybe, possibly, if he comes back. I hope he comes back. But last time we seen Connor, he was shot to doom. Sure. Cyberlife conducts a survey to know what users think. Do you want to... Uh, sure. Great. Ever took a survey for a fake company? I'm going to assume you think I'm single, so I'm going to answer like that. And I'm weird, so sure. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Uh... <laughs> I've seen the Terminator. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would oh. it be? Uh, book, cell phone, pen and paper, a console, instrument. Uh, I'd get no cell reception. Wouldn't be able to power anything. But I'll fucking hook a monkey up to a coconut somehow to get the power to my console. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Low bit. Oh, it's Vegeta, the prince of all PlayStation. Androids, flying cars, space tourism, brain connected devices. Ugh, oh, that would be interesting. Do you believe in God? Uh, I believe in faith. So, yes. Would you let an android take care of your children? Are we talking about, like, the I'm gonna take over the world and enslave mankind android? Or are we talking a cool android kind of like Kira? Because I'd let her watch my kids. If I had any. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Uh, <laughs> yeah. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on? Is the machine going to rip my heart out? Because if that's the case, no. But, I mean, if everything's working popular, uh, properly. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Uh, I mean, I've seen those weird videos. Uh, would you consider having a relationship? Uh, 64% yes. Yes. Uh, Eleven. Per oh well. No. Yes. Brain connected devices. Yeah. Well, I mean, close. Hey. Hey. We have a god. Yes. What was that? Thirty-nine. Okay. Well. Forty-three said no. Hmm. Well then. Uh. Well. So, what was the survey for? It's been a week, damn you. Hi, baby. I just took a survey. Weird one. I don't know why, but I did. Hey, Shion. Uh, I'm going to try not to kill Connor this time. That's if he's alive. I don't know what this is. This might be where we left off with gear. Boot. Boot, 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 boot. Oh, we booting up Connor. <laughs> um. Oh, no. What the hell? What? What happened to this poor fuck? That's Marcus. Oh yeah, let's diagnose. You got messed up, homie. Through pump regulator, all systems in low power mode. Whoa, why? Impaired vision, corrupted mind, palace. What? Uh. 
Oh, well, that's not good. Missing. Unable to stand. Why? Where's his feet? Did he restart? No, I didn't restart. But he came back after the first time I killed him, so... Where's the fourth one? Okay. <clears throat> Corrupted audio data damage. Marcus, dude, what happened? Are we in replace lags? Okay. What, what did they do to him? Jesus. I liked Marcus. Oh, God. Compatible. Okay. Oh. This is weird. I don't like what happened to him. Uh, whoo. Fetch left leg. Okay. This poor fuck, man. Wait, wait, wait. Incompatible. Oh, okay. Get the hell away from me. Come on, Marcus. Let's it go. This is so sad. Like, Marcus was really cool. Did, did we find a compat functional? Compatible. Nice. Let's do it, Marcus. Let's get you some walking sticks. Okay, I'm back. LOL. I switched to watch on PS4. It's what the hell you do to Marcus. I don't know what I did to Marcus. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. But we got him some new legs. Which is good. But he he's all messed up. Like his audio and his visuals all screwed. Like, look at this poor boy. I liked Marcus. Marcus owner died. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that, but... I didn't think he'd end up like this. They were arresting him. And we ended up with, like, robot... Oh, God! That's creepy. That wasn't cool, man. Why is it gotta be like a horror game ish? Come on, Marcus. Oh, what? Why? It's like walking through a freaking zombie infested hallway. Oh, I'm away from here, dude. Jesus. Um. Just look, you can see through his back. Find optical unit, find regular. Uh, there's like no scanny thing either. Like, what is that? Yeah, some angel. Incompatible. Shit. 
Remember what they do to the ones that malfunction and murder. True, but it's still kind of messed up. Like, Marcus is cool. He wasn't trying to kill anybody. That was that asshole's son. Compatible. Oh, let's take it, Mark. Oh. Oh, no. Like, you're just sitting in a pile of poop. I'll, I'll let you live, I guess. Yeah, I don't... Maybe not. I, I need to take it, lady. No, no, no. Look, look, look. Y you gotta stop. I need this. I'm in better shape than you. I got new walking sticks. Now I need a new chest piece. Ah, uh, Marcus. No! Give her the broken one. Dude, plug it in. Oh, phone. No. We don't, we don't need your damn sound. Woohoo. I mean, it, at, the, at least you could have did was put the broken one in her, homie. Now she's just like a broken love doll. <laughs> Ew. Alright, let's get up. We got new power. Now we need a new eyeball and new ears. Alright. Jesus, Marcus. Oh, oh, I'm walking better. Let's see. Oh! Alright, let's get it. Let's pop out that peeper. Hello. I don't care what you are. Thanks for the eye, man. Oh, this is just so creepy. Why? Oh, there we go. Now we're working with full HD. Still, poor Marcus, man. Alright. Now that's not gonna happen, right? Let's check over here. You got some, uh... Let's see. No, you're no good. <sighs> it's so sad. Yeah, I know they're robots and all. And... People probably don't want you to care about it, but... It's it's really sad that they do. Like, why do you keep them on? They're clearly suffering. <clears throat> what is what is it? What are you? Uh, is that gonna stop that hum? Okay. <laughs> that that makes that makes things sound better. Climb the slope. Well, let's escape. Now that we can climb, hear the rain, right? <laughs> climb the slope of dead bodies. And I, I don't really care that they're robots, but that's that's wrong. I really think that's wrong. They could have did so much better. Like humans are just horrible, frickin' things. If you're gonna dump them in a yard like that, deactivate them. That that's what you gotta do. That that whole sequence there was just sad. Ooh. 
Right? Holy eye robot, Batman. <laughs> you can clearly tell that he has, like, feelings. And he had feelings for his owner as well. And his owner, his owner loved him like a son. So this boy is going to go on, like, the warpath now. What are we doing, Marcus? What are we doing? Oh. Is that so he can look human? He doesn't have the thing there anymore. Well, if somebody puts a magnet on you, man, they're gonna know. <laughs> Oi. Oh, and that's how you make a villain, people. The imperfect ones have feelings. Yeah, the imperfect ones. We're like the perfect ones. It, it, this game is racism. That's all this game is. It's racism. <laughs> I, robot, final form. <laughs> right. Oh, he's alive! Ow! You're probably not going to be the same one by the time I finish this game. Oh, dude, it's so nice to see you, Connor, version 3.0. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Bad luck, Connor. Whew. Let's find Amanda. Not entirely sure who Amanda is. But we're going to find her. But you know, I say this this whole like thing, they it's what we're dealing with now. Everybody hates each other. For what? Why? Because somebody has a different color of skin. It's the same thing with this shit, you know. We made these sure. Okay. You got Yeah, kinda mark one. <laughs> kinda mark two! Oh <laughs> it's so fucked up! Ow! Hi! <coughs> oh. Oh, that's fucked up. Why'd you gotta show me <laughs> what? Oh man, that that whole space is going to be crowded by the time I'm done with this game. Whew. They showed they showed me the gravestones. But you know, it, it's racism. Like we made them. Okay, we made them out of freaking inanimate parts to be this animated thing. And they developed feelings. So, we should treat them like they're humans. Where the hell is Amanda? Oh, that, that might be her. <laughs> By the way, racism is fucking stupid. If you didn't catch that from me. Are you Amanda? Please be Amanda. It is good to see him. What do you mean? I don't intend to. When a kind mind was destroyed, its memory was transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. I will have been destroyed. It would be better for you and the investigation. I understand. <laughs> the interrogation seemed. Is this like robot heaven? Showed 
signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the DDC case. What do you make of him? Uh, yeah. We define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Uh. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype cyber life has ever And he died twice. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me. <laughs> Pick up the investigation where the previous comment left off and put a stop to this. Um, are you sure about that? LOL. LOL, Connor Mark II, shake my head. You pulled an Antoine. Probably, but this is Mark III now. And we were just in Robot Heaven or something. Oh, poor Connor. Bad luck, Connor. Uh. Line open. May I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's right, Cotter. Connect to the pretty lady. <coughs> Will do. Um, is that this way? Woohoo! Woo Where's his desk? I guess I have to go investigate things. Uh, that's not Anderson. Brown, you're obviously sitting at your desk. Is he over here? Collins. Anderson. <laughs> Who? Excuse me. Oh, he has some good work ethic. Sit down, Connor. This might be the easiest time you have during this playthrough right now. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to say sorry right now because you're probably going to die. <laughs> huh. Learn about Anderson. Let me... Uh, why, why didn't you let me read? What do I do? <laughs> like, uh, uh, cat. Oh. He's just freaking there eating donuts and stuff. Why can't I talk to him? What's over this way? Flipping robots. What are you? You evil bastard. Look at you. Would you sell crack? Ooh, I'm pissing him off. Ooh. Hey! Family show! Hey! Potty mouth. Now we're gonna stare at you for a little longer. What you gonna do? Oh! 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 I'm looking at you! Potty mouth. Uh oh. -uh. What is this? Can I enter? Oh! Go back to Hank's desk. 
I remember that room. That that room was bad. That's where Counter Mark II died. <laughs> right, let's go back to Hank's desk. I fine. Shh. Yeah. Looking at you. You mad? You mad? You mad, bro? You got something to say, bro? No? Ah! <laughs> anyway. Let's find out about Hank Anderson. Do 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 Hey, hey, done your it now? Uh, what are we looking at, Connor? There he is! Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberbike. I saw you get shot in the head last Saturday. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, jeez. Hey, in my office. Oh. Okay. Let's go, Hank. Woohoo. Oh. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. Probably not good. Well, at least he's honest. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Sounds like my dad. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me home the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic hey. prick. Hey. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder. Because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things? Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'd excuse me, I've got work to do. I, I wonder why he why dislikes them so much. Uh, puzzle, 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 uh, file. I would like to start reviewing the case files. Can you tell me where I talked to Hank? Close the door on your way out. <laughs> Have a nice what? day, he was at least nicer than Hank was. Jesus. Oh, check on Hank. Uh, constructive. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Um Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Sweet. Um Kiss it. Oh, there we go. At least I got my own desk. That's kind of cool. Oh, that guy looks like a very old Norman Redis. Redis. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. He, he kind of does. But, uh, from what Tim was saying, uh, in the last stream, the last time I played this, he, um, he's the voice of Mr. Krabs, I believe, from, uh, SpongeBob. Prowler hours, uh, start working. 
to take a look at them. The terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. <clears throat> I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls. Okay? Dude, he's trying to help you. Damn. Uh, is it? The pointer reports that he had left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of break-in in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by the A5 AV500 number 2347778821 model. Wow. Uh, any anyone we may know go Oh, hey, the victim's body was found by a friend who came by to say hello. He immediately called the emergency services at 842 who recorded death by gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have belonged to the victim. His android, an AX400, was not found on the scene and is the main suspect. That's, that's, uh, Kara, or Kira, or whatever the hell her name is. Let's scan all files. Damn. Possibly. If he'd listen. <coughs> uh, direct aggressive professional. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Oh, come on. <coughs> I probably picked the wrong thing. Connor's dead now. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the radio. I'm on it. About damn time we're getting to work. Jesus, Hank. I'm messing up my suit. How's your problem? Then again, I could have probably did better with that one. Huh. Hank got a lead. Woohoo! Uh, Hank is mad for damn sure. Now, what? We're going back to Kira. Uh, hopefully, I want to see what's going on with her. But, um. Jesus. I'm really glad Connor's back. I'm gonna be really sad when I kill him again. But, damn. Oh, yeah, we slept in an abandoned car, right? Yeah. Alright, there we are. Poor kid. Her daddy was such an asshole. I'm glad we shot his ass. Change appearance. Yeah, we're gonna have to change our appearance, aren't we? Um, but how? And did we bust that window open? Or was it the front window? I can't recall. <clears throat> Kara, Kara, Kira, whatever the hell her name is. Let's uh, look for some clothes. Maybe. What is this? Death to androids. That's messed up. 
Oh, buddy. Um, that's not cool. Maybe in the trunk of the car here? Can we find some clues? Use that uh, android strength. Uh, tools, tools, tools. All right, now we got some crowbar. Now we could go ahead and pop that trunk open, hopefully. There we go. There's that android strength. That I'm gonna take over the world strength. <sighs> Jesus, kid. Wake up. Cut hair. How are we cutting hair? She's got. Do everything. Look at that. Maybe we can find scissors somewhere, I guess. What is this? Scissors in a damn tire. How convenient. I mean, if I have to. And can't she just pop that damn thing out? Like, so she don't look like a robot? Kind of like Marcus did? And her hair's short and weird looking. Blonde, white, black. We'll go white. Mwam. Uh, how's blonde look? Blonde is trashy. We'll go white. We don't need her to look like a whore or anything. Ah, we are going to remove the thing. Mwah. Oh. There we go. Now she looks different. What do we do now? Do we get the little girl? We got to go. What? What is this? Whew. Wild Detroit Cyber Wildlife. First androids. Why are we making android animals? But why? What is wrong with you? That that's stupid. Cyber Life is set to open the first android zoo in Los Angeles. Which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Uh, okay. But, I mean, can't we just, like, make models? Blue turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the most high-profile attractions. That's fucked up. Canada. Let's move to Canada. Canada still android free zone. Oh god. Well then. Alright, uh let's let's not fuck with that. Check the neighborhood. Alright. <sighs> we'll let the little girl stay alone. <laughs> oh police patrolling the area. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back to the car. Let's, let's, uh, have the police not catch us. I mean, we did just kill a man. Where is that little girl to go to the bathroom? <laughs> the wheelbarrow, maybe? Okay. Oh. No, kid, it wasn't. 
Unfortunately. How do you feel? Like my dad just died? Go to the police. Let's go then. Okay. Now here's where shit goes down, right? Connor's gonna be chasing us. Like Better say I'm pretty. And continue to tell me how pretty I am. Because that would be nice. Oh, there's Connor. Oh, no. Oh, no. Watch him die over and over again. She be killed. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, true. to get to the train station. Danger level. Sneak past cops. Alright, let's go. Hold R2 to see my destination. Yep, let's go this way. And hide. That make me press multiple buttons to hide. Oh, we gotta go this way, all right? Hmm. All right, let's go. Oh, this ain't nice. Okay, hiding again. Oh, that's not good. Let's um Oh fuck Stop. Run Stop. I messed up I thought I could go on the other side of the thing Connor 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 could sprint I don't want to try to cross the street he might die Go, Connor, go! But don't catch them, please. Like, seriously. They're, they're cool. They're over there. Oh, no! Go, little girl! Go, Kara, 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 whatever the fuck your name is! Don't shoot! We need it alive! Oh! You don't play Frogger with a human child. Oh, fuck. That's insane. Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. You can't make me do this. Oh, see? That's why. Oh, shit. Get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I 
can't take that chance. Now you will get your job. Uh, I'm giving up. I ain't no damn Connor dying this time. Come on, kid. Yeah. Oh, shit. Bitch, run. Whew. I don't know how I did that. Why are you staying there? Go! They could blow your damn head off, woman. Ooh. Jesus. What do you mean, oh lord, she on. <laughs> that. That part scared me. I thought I could sneak over to the right where that bus stop was and just walk right past the cop. Nope. Nah, it didn't work. <sighs> At least I got a trophy. Run, hero, run. Right? I mean... Whew. <coughs> 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 I think he's kind of laughing at them. It's like, ha! Ha! I'm in the front, you bitches! Yeah, that scared me, believe me. I'm surprised I got her away from all that. Oh, God. Yeah, Jericho. Chris Jericho. Check symbol. Okay, I have to find that. Uh. Okay. Look around and find the graffiti in the environment. I did, dude. See? Isn't that it? No, it's not. It's not. Okay. But it is. What is different about this? Hey, you Jericho? Yeah, this is it. Oh. Clue updated. Okay. Find this graffiti. Okay, I got it. I know what's to do. Hopefully. It's kind of like finding QR codes on billboards. Uh, welcome to the chat room. I guess so. <laughs> what is that? Blend in with the humans. Try to blend in with the damn humans. What, the android's not allowed to use them damn things? Right, let's go. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. You bastard, you touched me. What is this? Uh, 
Boxing glove. There we go. Okay. Bitch. There we go. One and a two. Clue updated. Where the hell is that? Uh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we gotta walk around somewhere? Find more graffiti? Uh. Alright, both, bastard. Let's go, Marcus. I don't see no okay. Oh, ah, dude. That's a go. You already know where the second symbol is. I uh, seems it. There we go. I wonder what he's doing. Behind some fences. Here's some fences. Not enough fences, though. Uh, let's see. I wonder what they're going to be doing. Okay, there's three for this one. There's two. Come on, dude. Okay, so we gotta crawl in. Safe haven. Yeah, I understand it's going to be a safe haven, but is it... Is it gonna get all out of whack where, like, the androids go to war with the humans? Kind of safe haven? You know? I'm not entirely sure that this is a safe thing. Or the androids are just going to get used. That one was an easy find. Find a way to reach the roof. Um. Yeah, about that. Do I look like Spider-Man? Or where humans help them become human and hide? I mean, I would like that. That... That would be rather interesting. I could just punch through the wall, man. Uh, let's try to go around. Maybe up this way? Huh, it looks like there's a way. Like, he can go up there. Kind of shimmy across there, man. Come on. Hello for la LOL for ladder. Where the hell is there a ladder? Oh, there's something over there. Okay. Oh, it's kind of like I'm wheeling the old man around again.
Alright, get up. Just parkour. Freaking hardcore parkour shit right there. Any the other ones? Oh, that's not good. There's an android sanctuary down there. Where's the other one? There's three, right? Oh. I did not see that one at all. Uh, dude, dude. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do a thing. Um. Okay. Well, that was that was nifty. Sparkle Cola. Uh I was kind of like some Spider-Man shit right there. Maybe Marcus is Spider-Man. Skirt Marcus is the robotic Spider-Man of the future. There's Sparkle Cola. And we are not that close to this. Two. And. Um, a three. Please. Where it, oh, there we go. I would have fallen if that jump failed that jump. Shion! I know. I apologize, though. What the hell else are we doing, good guy? Oh. Okay. Would not be solid enough. Uh. Alright, let's do something different. Uh, let's try this one. Some hardcore parkour shit right there. Dude. Would be too high. Okay. We're about to do that shit. Do it up, Marcus. Be Spider-Man. I mean, Spider-Man would have crawled up the wall, but... I mean, maybe he's like a Deadpool. You know, without all the you know, murder and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to talk about. What is this? Okay. Too damn dark. Hey, is this it? No, oh, that's not, that's not it. I guess. I, I uh, cup, cup, come on. Hmm. Is there somebody else in here with us? 
Why can't I go over there? Damn it, Marcus. Oh. What the hell? Poor guy. Uh. Do you know any more hardcore parkour, boy? No? Oh, wait. We're out here. That, that big ass symbol right there. No. What did these subs do? It's right there. Big ass symbol. Now I have to go through there. Thank you. We could have did this earlier. I'm kind of glad it didn't. Other side looks at walls. We got walls. I did, baby. I did it. I did it. Come on, Mark. Um. Maybe that other android didn't make it. <clears throat> and was that the word Jericho? Did we get set up? It's a big ass boat. <clears throat> Someone's found reach the boat. Well, I mean Holy balls, Marcus almost died. How you gonna hardcore park or that, Mark? Um. Huh. Ain't no wall running gonna help you there, buddy. Let me get up there. Jump. Whoop. No, I'll loop. <clears throat> what the hell are we doing, Marcus? Now, I get, like, androids might be hiding in that boat, but... What happens if the city comes and tries to, you know, dismantle the boat and take it away? Marcus, you freaking crazy boy. Um, <laughs> oh no. Okay. The game told me. Okay, good. Dude, your coat. That was a sick coat, man. Where'd he get the rest of the clothes? I mean, did he mug somebody? Cause his clothes was pretty fucked before. Convenient. And with a little shake, let there be light. It's kind of what God said, right? Shake that ass so there's light. Uh, this just get seems like it's getting spooky. Okay. They don't want you in that one. That's off limits, Marcus. Oh, God. 
With the rain outside and the place dripping like it is, it, it's kind of eerie. Is this? Oh, shit, Kier. Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. With miles of unspoiled nature, Canada. Fuck Canada. Wanna hear about her? Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. Residents in the Detroit suburb of Camden, Cam, in Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews, flushed out a felony fugitive. But this is a fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The rogue AX400 model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing police officers. Runaway machine causes panic. Eyewitnesses' statements are inconclusive, and with an official report, it's impossible to say for sure what really happened, but local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No CyberLife spokesperson was available for comment, of course not, and the speculation looks set to continue. Huh. Damn it, Kara. Alright, let's go on. No, no! We got. Yeah, this way! Uh, or. This thing. Ah, there we go. Nope! Okay, we continue on. Uh. Anybody home? Well, I guess we're not going that way, right? Hello! Oh God! Shit! <clears throat> Not cool, game. Not cool. Let's follow it. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait. Can we open it? Is it going to be stuck like the other? Yep, stuck. Can't go that way. Go through the hole, Marcus. There we go. Weird motion controls. If I did motion controls, I'd put my VR on. Oh, it's gonna get creepy. Gonna like rogue androids. Shit. Come on. Jump scare me. Oh, Marcus, run! Oh no. Ow. Oh, God. That's not good. LOL. Malfunction. I feel bad for the androids. They just want to be loved. They do want to be loved. Why can't we love them? I mean, not weird kind of love either. There's perverts out there. That That's just gross. Anyway. Oh, shit. One of us. Oh! No! There was the dude who was at the beginning of the game. The, with the, the, they had, he had the little girl hostage. I mean, it's an android model, so it might not be him, but... That's fucked up. Let's go, people. Oh, God. Hey, hey, hey! Not nice. 
Arkansas with Anderson. Open door. Okay, open the damn door. Now I have to go make him happy. Please don't kill me. Who's this boy? Collecting data. Give it away. Illegal gambling fraud. Alright, I'm in. The hell's, the hell's he got on his head? I know, but still. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be on this. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. Oh, me, Robert Luddy. Don't be spending any of my money. <laughs> What's up, Indy? Here you go. We just scanning everybody. Let's see. Criminal record. Resisting arrest. Branch of hygiene regulations. Ah, oh, he must be stinky. Uh, and cooks with like roaches and stuff. I'll leave that thing here. Uh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Uh, I mean. Gambling yeah, company, have it. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Uh. You didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. Thank you, Edwards. Oh, shit. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um. Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang it, androids. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Ah, <laughs> thanks for showing up, man. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software. What are you going to be uh, recording tonight? We to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel it. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I, I kind of want to know this as well. I have my reasons. <coughs> I guess I'm not going to. When we were chasing those demons, why didn't you want me to I, I ain't playing Dead Space on my channel. You could have been killed. This game just scared me. And I don't like throwing out paperwork for damage to <coughs> You ever dealt with deviants before? Um. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Or everything there is to know about me. <sighs> I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spent a lot of time. Do I have to play the whole thing if you bought it? So, what's your conclusion? Ah, <sighs> sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. 
but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your interview. I'll be in the car if you need me. Connor, you kind of creepy. You're doing more Duke Nukem and Mario. That's not bad. Connor, what you, what's going on, man? Oh, here's where Connor might die. Know about this guy. Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more uh, cops. Uh, hey, were you really making an a LED in the elevator? Correct. Hello. Anybody home? <sighs> Open up. Why do you like watching me play scary stuff, Indy? Stay behind me. Got it. Ah, uh, Connor might die again. I'm staying with Hank. Hank. Fucking this? birds! Uh, Jesus, this place. Oh, it's kind of like that Hitchcock film. Uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man. It's gone. Uh, oh boy. I mean, if. I mean, I would be paying for it. LOL. I mean, if you bought it, it would uh, it would be a stream game. Uh, that way, you know, I I have other people to talk to while I'm playing it because I'm a chicken shit. So, I mean, I guess. Also, you could help me with it. <laughs> Also, Prince of Persia is going to stream game, so help me choose what will take its place. Doom Nightmare Playthrough, Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, Breath of the Wild 3, Park Run. Uh, you know what? I've actually always wanted to play Mario and Luigi's uh, Bowser's Inside Story, so I'm going to choose that. Plus, you're like Nintendo trash anyway, so it kind of fits you. <laughs> and then again, Breath of the Wild 3 is good too, so. What is a this? You have to fields in the heart of city. Oh, it's hiding something. Possibly. No. Oh, okay. Also, I might also do the Doom Nightmare playthrough along with it because I want to challenge myself. But Mario, it is. I mean, you could always, like, uh, bounce around, like, one week do Mario, next week do Doom, and whatnot. Uh, it's probably not good. 
on something? I don't know. It looks like a note. Okay, he is telling him so. But it's indecipherable. Alright, man, if you're gonna help with dead space, I am a chicken shit. I might move uh, Resident Evil 2 over to stream as well. Because I do have to finish Claire's story since, I mean, I just started it. Get, get the hell out of the way, Andrew Sitting Fuck Mr. Crab Bastard. Fucking pigeons. Military check. It's second hand. RT. Probably initials. Probably. They put his initials in his jacket. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Here's your fake ID. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come, come for nothing. Ah, Jesus, I hate these. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sample? Ah! Oh, yeah, I forgot he does that. Stop putting shit on your tongue! Especially from that sink, man. Well, that's not good. Deactivate 11-6-2038. It's LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human can live with all these fucking fish. <laughs> right? R A nine, R A nine. How is all that? Any idea what it means? R A nine. Written two thousand four hundred and seventy one times. Jesus Christ! It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? I don't know, sir. I don't know. Looks like maybe. Kinda does. Um. There's another crew. All right, check your stream next chance you get. What? Oh, Steam. Oh. Alright, oh man, dude, if you put it on Steam, I might not be able to play that until I get my other computer. <laughs> because this computer sucks, depending on how old it is. I'll try it, though. Um... Where the hell is the other... There we go. Oh, well, that's really gross when he does it. It is really gross when he does that. Suspect was here recently. Oh! Busted his ass. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. He probably got scared. Stepped on a pigeon. Okay, but it doesn't tell me. That's fine, as long as it'll happen. Sadly, Dead Space is only on PS3 and 360, and I don't think Xbox One got... Well, I mean, I do have a PS3, homie! <laughs> and I am willing to record... And hook that BH up. Alright. It's not giving me much anything else to do. Birds. I can't believe it. This nut job is actually 
Feeding the damn birds? Well, yeah. One of three. Is his handprints. And there we go. All right, man. That sounds good. Oh. Oh, he hit it. He hit the bird. Not all them pigeons were in there. Uh, okay. What happened? Oh, suspect heard us enter. Oh, don't tell me that bastard's in there again. Why are they always going into the roof? Oh, shit. Connor's dead. Connor's gonna die. I like how he makes me chase it. Go, Connor! Oh, this is cool! Easy but slower. Fast but risky. Fast but risky. Safer route. <laughs> oh shit! There we go. Where is he? Safer detour. Let's go. Oh come on! Let's catch his ass. Oh, this is sick. What are we going to do? Let's go, Connor. Uh, yeah. We're going to go that way. So, still, still Connor. Oh! Oh! Connor, don't die! I need you, Connor! Come on, get up there! Let's get this fucker! Hey! Potty mouth. Uh, <laughs> Connor, do it, man! Credit, slow. Uh, fuck it. Connor, get his ass! Oh, now we're in a damn cornfield? Oh shit, Hank! Uh, uh, chance of survival, 89. Hank got this. Oh, hopefully. Uh, look, homie, chill. I unfortunately do. <laughs> Model eight seven four zero zero four nine six one. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class four errors. You've been deemed defective. You will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Hank didn't die. Don't you fucking move. Hey! You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall on you. 
you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission? I had to make a choice. It seemed to me. What am I to you? Yes. Statistic, a zero, a one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Oh. Well, Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess. The Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Wow. Just wow. I can't do nothing right for Mr. Crab. Damn, Hank. That's that's not good. Dude, I'm standing right there. You had an 89% chance of survival. Oh, well, yeah, I can't feel physical pain, but still. Hubert committed suicide. I, so many robots dying with me playing this goddamn game. Jesus. <coughs> ah, back to Marcus. Mr. Krabs is savage. Who are you? Fugitives. Ant did the same way. Uh, Jericho? This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't have these slaves anymore. Uh, 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 trial? And you knew that only an Andrew would Trail. Trial. Wow. Only those who are like us. If you could decide for the signs, because one of us trusted you enough to keep the key. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping the monsters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Uh. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see fluid. Oh, Marcus is gonna has like an uprising or something. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Oh. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Oh, I hope so. I just went through all that damn trouble. Go and see Lucy. Who's Lucy? Who, who is this Lucy? Settling. Are you Lucy? No? Well, damn. Uh, are you Lucy? I'm not judging. I mean, it's, it's like 2038, right? You got fucked up. What's up, Dome? No. Why are they doing this shit to them? You know, we gotta find him new parts. You're not Lucy. You're too yellow. Not that, you know, Lucy has anything against yellow. You're fucked up too. A little bit. A uh, party. Um, what's your name? Marcus. Oh. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. 
What? We gotta. Can't we fix her? Did she just die? Hello? No? Nothing? That's fucked up. Jesus. People dying on my watch. Um. Are you Lucy? No. So, suddenly jump scare, right? That, it scared the shit out of me. You're not Lucy. You're the one that told me to go find Lucy. Let's start a fire. Click. Not that androids need fire. I mean, but a little light would do. Uh, time here. Like a month. I escaped with no one else to go. Whoa. Uh, spare parts? These guys need spare parts and blue blood wilds and everything like that. It's not that simple. You can't just go shopping on a sidewalk or store. So you stay there till you die? A lot of these guys are pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. Not all of you. Well, not all of them. His owner was fucking awesome. He had a giraffe in his house. Bitch. Any of you, Lucy? Well, actually, these stairs aren't covered, so maybe I could go up them. Okay, maybe they are blocked. Find Lucy. Find Lucy. You guys are all, like, what? In low power mode? Safe mode? Incognito mode? Kind of. Okay, already emptied. What was in there? Oh. Cyber Life Warehouse and Docks, West Terrence Avenue. Why well, I gotta be dark? Well, it's getting late. Need to record before sleep. Good night, Andy. Why well, I gotta be dark, though? You never know. Alright, and start another fire. <laughs> it could be an incognito mode. <laughs> Who's this? Can we look at this? No. Hey! Stay away from my fire, Connor. Ish. Kinda. Maybe like a young Connor. How many times did you die? Let's go start another fire. Fuck it. Someone lose an arm. And fire. Fire. Of course I'm here, dork. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's you and the boo boos. Got the androids moving. Maybe Lucy's in here. There's definitely somebody in here. Shut up, kitty! This has to be Lucy. What the fuck's her head? Are you Lucy? Lucy's creepy. You're, you're missing something. Show me. What am I showing you? Uh. Oh. Come.
honor, dude. I'll stop the bleeding. Please. Uh, that would be nice. <clears throat> Not cool. She might be the R9 lady. Drink this. It's blood. Or like pen's oil or something. Mm, glug, glug, glug. Cheers to you, Marcus. I ain't drinking blood, though. It's, uh, pomegranate juice. Good shit. No. Creepy ladies, creepy. Brrrah. <laughs> scratch, scratch. You had well, a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Drugs, you know. A little bit. It's gonna kill my owner's kid. Oh, no. Uh, oh. I don't know. Told you he was gonna be some kind of like prophet. Marcus. Oh hell, Marcus. Propose a plan to what? Who? Oh. oh, is it the dude in yellow? Hey dude. You right? No, oh, no, this guy. Simon says. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouse is in the Detroit Harbor. They have everything they need. The docks are guarded. They can't just walk in there and take what they want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. <laughs> Maybe it's worth a try. My brother from another mother. Okay. Aye. Well then. Marcus hatched a plan. Woohoo! Time to decide. Uh, I don't know what that one was I missed. But... That is pretty freaking nifty. You know what? I think I'm going to end the stream here, though. It is oh, after 11 here. And we've been playing for almost about two hours. So, we'll continue this next Tuesday. Uh, the next stream will be either... Well, yeah, it's going to be Thursday night. And I'm probably going to be streaming Days Gone. Instead of Doom, because Days Gone releases... So that'll be a late stream. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, I didn't kill Connor this time. Which, y yay. I mean, Connor's cool and all and still alive. So, I mean, that's a plus. But in the next one, uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue on with Bad Luck Connor and all that nifty jazz. So, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys then. If I know how to turn the stream off. Bye-bye.